Greetings, dear chaps. We have quite an interesting night before us. You are here once again listening to The Literary Hour with K. Wayne Rhodes. I'm the southern smooth-talking cousin of K. Winston Rhodes. But I'm taking over tonight's very important event or show or whatever you would like to use to describe tonight's double feature for not only do we have some poetry, but we also have some philosophical insight on the nature and the question to duck or not to duck. That is the question. Quack, quack. Tonight's reading will be from the composition entitled Ducks by F. W. Harvey. If we might begin before getting into the text of this literary masterpiece, we might say Is it really a duck? Because the author here is taking by pure assumption, might I say, fallaciously thinking that when he sees a duck that it's actually a duck. And that the author here is confused, not knowing that All of reality is bottom-up, backward causation, uh, I guess. I guess they're quantum mechanic um, gurus, experts, because that is the leading interpretation of quantum mechanics, that just this realm of potency is such that Somehow, by collapsing the wave function, we break off into some sort of Copenhagenish multiverse. But, dear folks, in the words of my cousin, I digest. Let us begin. Ducks by F.W. Harvey. Read in honor of Jamie. Russell, one of my best gay friends. Looking good, mate. Good on ya. At least that's what they say in the South. Let's so throw some shrimp on the barbie, eh? That's what they say in the North. I digest. Let's begin. From troubles of the world, I turn to ducks. Poor fool. He's turning to something that's not really there. Beautiful, comical things, sleeping or curled, their heads beneath white wings by water cool, or finding curious things to eat in various mucks beneath the pool. You know, if I was the author, I would say, hey, two thumbs up for ducks, and I'd do it like this. To eat in various mucks, hey, two thumbs up for ducks. I'm actually a literary genius myself. Not only my smooth talker and dirty walker got me my glass of Cavassier here. Let us continue. To eat in various mucks beneath the pool, tails uppermost or waddling, sail like on the shores of ponds or paddling, left, right, with fin like feet. I should just sit down 
and take a load off my seat. Never mind, that's not there. Continuing on. Which are for steady oars when they white gales, or I, sh I should say galleys? My glasses are, uh, uh, my arm's not long enough, sorry. Let's, let's back up. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Stand tall, stand strong. Say it loud, say it long. Bust the devil, bust him up. Get live with God. Dun, 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 dun. Addicted to Jesus. Sorry. <clears throat> ADHD people. Okay. Tells uppermost or waddling. Sell like on the shores of ponds or paddling. Left, right with fan-like feet, which are for steady oars when they white galleys float, each bird a boat, rippling at will the sweet wide waterway. When night is fallen, you creep upstairs, but drakes and dillies nest with pale water stars, moonbeams and shadow bars and water lilies, fearful too much to sleep, since they've no locks to click against the teeth of weasel and fox. And warm beneath are eggs of cloudy green, whence hungry rats and lean would stealthily suck new life, but for the main, the hold ferocious main of the mother duck. This has been a literary poetry, poetry hour, as well as to duck or not to duck. <laughs>